What's up YouTube? My name is William Dowling and I am a professional mountain biker. I actually graduate from college here in about 36 hours and in the words of Kanye West, some people graduate but be still stupid. I will, right after I graduate, be loading up the back of my Nissan and driving back to Sacramento where the weather is a little bit warmer before I get started on my base training. This drive is horrendous. This section of Highway 80 between Reno and Salt Lake City, oh my gosh, it's so bad I don't even want to think about it. So we're doing some training. Hate this weather so much, man. Sucks, about ready to get back to California. In the words of future, graduated, I was overdue. Got the diploma right here, dude. Swag. All right, we're back in the car. Got it very fully loaded. Got a guitar, two bikes, hunting equipment, bike tools, and already been driving for about two hours. Still have about another 14. We're at the last gas stop of the night here. I don't know how I even made it here. I was driving on empty for like half an hour. I need to stop trusting the estimated fuel thing on the road. Yeah, I was thinking about camping here. This is Bonneville, but it's less than 30 degrees outside. It's like 25 and I don't even have a sleeping bag. So nice planning, Will. Uh, looks like I'm going to a random motel, although I guess I'm almost in Nevada, so I guess I can gamble, but not that I have any money to do that. I'm a professional cyclist, dude. <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> so I'm about an hour and a half from home and stuck in traffic. Yeah, we're back in Folsom, and today is the first day of base training. Today I'm just going to do about four hours zone two. I like to just ride these corners every single time, just maybe 5% faster until I crash, and then just dial it back that last 5%, and then you know you're going full speed, so... Let's see if I can get a good crash on camera for you guys. <laughs> All right, hopefully that came through. I got really loose on that one. I think that's about as fast as you can go in these conditions and happy with that. All right, move on to the next trail. So it's a couple days later. Yesterday I just did the same four hour mountain bike ride for the most part. And today I'm doing some tempo intervals on the road bike. It rained a lot last night, so no mountain bike today, but this is pretty much as bad as the weather gets here. It's really foggy and cold and the road's wet. But yeah, I think this is the first time I've ever actually worn wool socks in Folsom. So this is about as bad as it gets here, but honestly it's better than riding inside, man. Anything is better than riding the stupid rollers. All right, I'm headed home now. That was a pretty good ride. Obviously the sun came out, so not too bad outside. The power was about what I needed it to be for the tempo there. Got about a little over an hour of tempo and a couple hours of zone two in there too, so it's a good ride. So we're just going on a quick recovery ride today and I kind of ran into the jackpot here. This stuff is called miner's lettuce and few people know about this, but this stuff is actually completely edible and it's really good for you. So every time I ride by, I like to just have a bite It's really good and it's especially funny to do when there's other people on the trail because no one knows that this stuff is edible so they always look at you like you're crazy but I like it a lot. Today's the day after Christmas. On Christmas Eve I did four hours on the road bike with a bunch of climbing and on Christmas I just did one hour recovery so today I'm doing uh, about three hours with some tempo intervals and right now I'm actually on this trail. I just yanked it onto this trail uh, to go pee and the spot where I was planning on going pee there were people standing so I had to ride down a little ways on my road bike in the mud but having fun. All right so we're heading home now those intervals went pretty well. Pretty decent headwind out here today super windy. People from Durango who am I? Stupid headwind I'm going home. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry Kara we love you. Uh, but yeah after this just gonna do a quick little run a little bit of weight training and then That'll be it for the week. Swag. Just doing a little bit of running for cross training. I hate running, man. Running's the worst. So if you're gonna do leg raises, the trick is to do them in your heaviest shoes. So I usually put my hiking boots on for these. Looks pretty dumb, but it gets the job done. It makes it like 10 times harder.
So I'm looking over my week of training here and it looks like I got 20 hours and 11 minutes of moving time with 28,000 feet of climbing on the bike plus two runs and two gym sessions. So that's a pretty solid week, not the biggest, craziest week in history, but that's a good start to base and I'm looking forward to ramping it up even further from here. So that's all I've got. Make sure to like the video if you did like it and make sure to subscribe. That really helps me out because next year I'll be posting a lot more. So looking forward to that. Swag.